Hey guys, it's Into the Stars, and it's time to unplug from this matrix. Unplug from all the mindless crap that they're feeding us through the news feeds, and sift through and find truth. I uh, we just did a video recently on the American Meteor Society, and we were tracking the uptick in uh, meteors. Now, only myself, our channel here, and a few other sites are looking at this phenomenon. I know that Dabu7 has mentioned the meteor increase, but I think we are probably the one site that has done the best work on it and actually tracking it, coming to this website, and so on and so forth. Now, I had a person comment on my channel trying to discredit this information, saying that it only had to do with you know, internet access and iPhones and people's ability to report these things through technology. And of course, um, I'll be nice, but uh, we all know that's crap. So I said, well, let's speak to the source. So I sent an email to the person who developed this website, who is obviously linked into the founders. His name is Mike Hanke. And Mike got back to us, and he actually confirmed my findings that there has been a noticeable uptick, drastic uptick, in the amount of meteors that have hit the planet. We also discussed why, in fact, this is happening and why the media is not reporting it. So this should put all doubts to rest um, regarding this reporting of meteors. Okay, We're going to actually look at his email because I want you guys to believe what I'm telling you. Now this is the email that I sent to Mike. Hello Mike, I have a viral YouTube channel and we've been doing videos on your Meteor site. I have 5,200 subscribers and I have noticed a serious uptick in Meteor sightings. I wanted to ensure that this uptick was not due to other factors such as Meteor awareness, internet reporting, iPhone apps, or other factors. We we're trying to get a good idea of any data skews. My guess is that you somehow accounted for these skews in reporting I need some proof from you that this is so to report back to my subscribers. Another question. Why isn't the media reporting this serious increase in media intensity and sightings? Thank you for your time. And this is what Mike responded to us. I'm just going to read his email. He says, Hi Casey. We have also noticed a serious uptick in activity. September was the busiest month on record and three of the top most reported events of all time happened within the last week. Indiana, Ohio, and Atlanta were all reported by hundreds, almost over thousands in some cases. I'm actually working on traje trajectories of all the big events in September and plotting back December for each radiant, but this will take some time. With that, we might be able to get an idea of at least where they are coming from. This is uh, an official at the American Meteor Society who is trying to figure out if we can get an idea of where these meteors are coming from. Okay. Without good all-sky camera video footage of these events, though, it's almost impossible to plot the orbits. The reality is meteors have hit the Earth since the beginning of time will continue to the end of time. 99.99% of the time they are totally harmless. The rates of these meteors will sometimes increase and sometimes decrease with the exception of known meteor showers. There is really no way to predict sporadic fireball activity. Note that he, he, he basically makes a difference between meteor showers and sporadic activity. Obviously meteor showers come along with asteroid belts. We can predict those. But the, this other phenomenon is completely different. It's not linked to a, a meteor, uh, an asteroid belt. He says, over the past three years, and this is where it gets very interesting, you guys. Over the past three years, we've released different versions of the site that impacted throughput. So he's admitting that, to a degree, it has been impacted. But the last major release was November 2012. So this whole year has been stable, code-wise. So this data is stable for this year. The Russian event greatly raised awareness about meteors and our site. However, through the summer, activity on the site with fireballs really slowed down. So what he's trying to prove here, he's trying to set the stage for the fact that 
the data is stable, regardless of the fact of meteor awareness and things of this factor. It would not have slowed down during the summer if it was not stable. The data was not stable. He then, he then says, and then it really picked up again in September. So yeah, SEO, marketing, awareness, technology all contribute to an overall increase in reports, but we cannot make rocks fall from the sky, and certainly not every other day. These events are happening, and it is somewhat unusual. Reason for alarm, no, but it, interesting, yes. The media is interested, but they don't have enough to go on. All reporters ask the same question. So everybody is curious. It's not just me or our channel asking this question. Obviously, there is increased activity. Very little is actually known about fireball meteors fluctuates, their origins, and these types of things. Not enough video data has been collected to understand all of this. So anyways, I just wanted to report that to you guys to let you know that the, uh, the data that we've presented to you is significant. And we are on the cutting edge here of uh, reporting this information to as many people as possible. You're not hearing this from the media because they're not reporting it. They don't want you to know. But you will know here on Enter the Stars. Take care and be safe, you guys.